Hey everyone, I'm Max Murphy and you're watching Mac News Weekly number 74 sponsored by Gibraltar Management. Here's the Mac News from this week. <music> iTunes 8.1.1 is out and the big news is that it supports HD movie rentals. Before, HD rentals were only possible if you owned an Apple TV. It's not too big of a surprise after all, we could buy HD movies on the computer last month and high def TV shows at the end of last year. HD movie rentals, if you remember, are about $5 a pop and you can keep it up to 30 days. But when you press that play button, you've only got 24 hours to watch it. Remember, if you don't like this model, Apple always gives you the option to buy. Also in iTunes this week, Apple finally rolled out their three-tiered pricing structure. Now songs can be priced at $69, $99, or $129 cents based on the song's popularity. With this, all tracks in the iTunes store are now free of DRM. Yay! Center again. A loss for us consumers is definitely the price. What we're going to see is that the latest and greatest songs will be $1.29 for the, you know, artists and record companies to make more money. That's new. Some people are reporting that songs were removed from the library with no comment from Apple. My guess, the record company didn't want a DRM free. Let's wait and see what happens to this one, but I bet it's Apple being stubborn. For all the IT professionals out there, Apple updated its family of excerpts to Intel's new New Halen processors. Apple says that with the new chips, Excerpt offers an 89% improvement per watt with twice the performance of the old model. Nice, the machine comes standard with Mac OS 10 server and starts just under 3 grand. If you're splurging on a new Xserv, you should take a look at this as well. Drobo, everyone's favorite storage robot, is out with a new version aimed at small businesses. The Drobo Pro can hold up to 8 drives and theoretically have an unlimited capacity, all with redundant storage that we're used to. On the back, the Drobo Pro sports an iSCSI, Firewire 800, and USB 2.0 ports. Another great feature for IT pros and the Drobo Pro is the option to rack it on a rack mount. If you choose to do this, you need some extra accessories and 3 rack spaces. Boxy, the best open source media center for your Mac, is now a little more open. With the latest version of Boxy, the New York-based company introduced their own APIs for developers to build apps that can appear on the Boxy home screen. It will almost be like an app store for Boxy, but Boxy isn't going to monitor anything. Anyone can publish anything. I love when companies use this model. The App Store is about to hit a milestone in the coming weeks. On their homepage, Apple added a counter that displays how many apps have been downloaded thus far in hopes of reaching 1 billion downloads very, very soon. Apple is inviting everyone to download an app or fill out a form if you don't have an iPhone to win some free stuff. Once 1 billion apps have been downloaded, Apple will randomly choose one customer to win $10,000 iTunes gift card, an iPod Touch, a MacBook Pro, and a time machine. Full information can be found in the show notes at macnewsweekly.com. An Australian blogger has found some data in the iPhone 3.0 beta that points to a video editing application being enabled soon. We all think that 3.0 or the next iPhone will allow for video capture, and this would be very cool to edit a video that may be sent to YouTube right from your iPhone. That's it for this week. I'm Max Murphy. Have a great week. <laughs>